I was noticing over the weekend, and this, these come out from time to time from different police divisions, from different police agencies, uh, but for folks out in the West End in, in 11 Division, uh, that there's been a bit of an uptick in some of the B&Es, and so it's just a reminder for police to make sure your property is uh, safe and secure. Not just nighttime, daytime as well. Daytime, you get more break-ins during the daytime. Always remember that than, than you do at nighttime in, in residences. So um, we thought it would be a good chance to pop into 11 Division and talk a little bit about protecting yourself. So this isn't just for folks in 11 Division. This is for no matter where you are, where you are living. And uh, PC Steve Moniz joins us right now from the uh, front desk at 11 Division. Morning, Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good, good. Okay, so we have seen uh, an uptick in, uh, in 11 Division of some break and enters, but we see this from division to division, time to time. What are we seeing? So basically, we just want to educate the public and we just want them to make them aware that the, of the importance of securing their homes. So we are seeing a lot of um, <coughs> residential entries that are happening during the day and they do happen in the evening. But we really want to make everyone aware that it is so important to lock your rear doors of your homes and your front doors. People go to work, sometimes they leave their doors open or even as the weather gets better, you get a little bit more comfortable and you're in the backyard or you're in the front, you're cutting your lawn. And um, people, you know, they do take advantage and sometimes they do come to the back of their homes and they do break into the houses. I was gonna say, is it that easy in terms of the force of entry? Or I guess it's not, they're just sliding doors open so are they are they scouting I mean how do they know which houses to go to is it just luck well, so basically, yeah, some people, they, unfortunately, they do scout and they, they, they watch some people leave um, for work or whatnot, but uh, for the most part, sometimes also some people, what they do is they do leave their, their homes uh, unsecure and uh, basically they're just, uh, it's the opportunity. They're allowing these people to basically, they're walking into their backyards and they're testing doors just to see if they're open. And we just want to really make sure that everyone understands the importance of just securing your homes, making sure you install an alarm system and just um, basically getting some crime prevention information from us and, and, and reaching out to us if you need some assistance. And that, that's great because it doesn't matter where where you are watching us from. You can walk into your local police division or your local police agency and you can say, listen, I want to know more about making sure my property is secure. For instance, if you go into 11 Division, you've got that toolkit uh, uh, we were told about uh, that you're holding there. Correct. So we, last year we launched a crime prevention toolkit. So basically it's an envelope and inside the envelope there's a whole bunch of crime prevention material, um, auto theft, break and enter, um, social media. There's about 16 or 17 different uh, pamphlets in here. There's some information from Crime Stoppers. And basically it's a new initiative that we launched. And if uh, anyone in 11 Division or any other division would like to come and pick one up, uh, please feel free to uh, reach out to us or come to 11 Division to pick up a crime prevention toolkit. And there's tons of information in here. We've uh, also launched to a couple other divisions. Um, and um, they'll be available uh, shortly, uh, hopefully throughout the city. Constable, real quick, three top things we could do right now without even reading that kit. Without? Install, yes. a, uh, install a security uh, system. Um, install cameras around your home. Um, get some motion sensor lights. And the most important, just lock your doors. Lock your rear doors. Lock your front doors. All right. Thank you very much. PC Steve is talking to us from uh, 11 Division You're this welcome. morning. Uh, you know, and I've done many, many stories on break and enters, whether it's from cars and uh, from houses. Essentially, you know what? If they're going to go out and they're going to go break in somewhere, they're going to break in somewhere. The idea is you don't want them breaking into your place. Right. So make it more difficult for them uh, in your car. Don't leave things in plain view. Make sure all the doors and windows are locked. Uh, park in a, in, a, in a brightly lit area, uh, in a busy area, in, mm. in housing. Doors and windows locked and latched. Uh, you know, it's very easy to slide open a window. Uh, most common times, 3 to 5 p.m. for, uh, for break-ins. Right. Uh, so Broad when you, daylight. So when you see something, see somebody who doesn't belong there, get to know your neighbors. They watch out for you, you watch out for them. You call 911, you say, listen, something doesn't seem right here. And they will send a cruiser around just to make sure. And they, it also adds to the stats in the area. And they know maybe we need to watch this neighborhood a little more There's closely. There's nothing more violating than coming home and seeing somebody tried to or did actually take your thing. So great advice, Cap. We'll be back with more BTV after this.